The federal government of Nigeria plans to allocate a significant portion of its budget to debt servicing over the next three years, surpassing allocations for capital expenditures. To fund its expenditure plans, the government also intends to borrow an additional 31.24 trillion naira over the next three years. This will in no doubt add to Nigeria's already substantial debt stock, which stood at 134.3 trillion naira as of June 2024. In a business, it's very healthy to borrow, okay, very healthy to borrow in business, okay, but uh, the aspect you made mention of, when you borrow, you should be accountable for the money you have borrowed, and most times you, you agree with me, when you borrow, you have a collateral, so Nigeria, in this context, we have collateral in the aspect of uh, us being rich in natural resources. So if we can harness our natural resources, we have gas that will flare up in the Niger Delta area, we harness them. You, you see, um, very recently, you see vehicles, even here in Benin, now running on CNG. Okay, all of these, if Nigeria is accountable, we can, you know, harness all of these areas and mop up monies that are even more than the amounts that we are borrowing. There are a number of policies that, uh, financial policies that can be put in place. There are a number of them. For me, I usually, I will I usually say that it is not about the policy. It is about the sincerity of purpose. That's the reason why I ask the question, what are you borrowing exactly for? Are you borrowing because you want to sincerely improve the economy? And if the economy is improved, you don't need a suit here to tell that the economy is improved. In the world all over, you need no man is an island of his own. You need one another, so you can always borrow. However, what are the indices in place to help uh, offset this debt? And what are the plans to sustain the inflow of cash coming in? To, at the end to help to have a robust economy that's what matter but generally it's a good plan to borrow uh -huh. but when the purpose of it is unknown abuse is inevitable reacting some respondents stated that while it is in the good interest of the country to be in possession of enough funds to run different sectors it is pivotal that borrowed funds be accounted for i think it has been like a culture to our leaders you understand they love borrowing even when they are looting from the country, they still borrow outside. So the problem of debt we are having in this country is our leaders. You understand? They borrow from outside and shift it to their own posts. They don't use it for what they, they are supposed to use it for. Others noted that more borrowing of funds would affect Nigeria's already ailing economy and called for sustainable financial reforms that would cushion the rates of borrowing funds and evacuate the country out of its debt. According to reports, the government intends to borrow 9.22 trillion naira in 2025, increasing to 8.78 trillion in 2026 and 13.24 trillion naira by 2027. The fresh borrowings will be used to fund the government's widening budget deficits, which are projected at 13.8 trillion naira in 2025, 12.14 trillion naira in 2026 and 13.76 trillion naira in 2027. Experts say if the boring trend continues, Nigeria's debt stock could be near 170 trillion naira by 2027. Oluwatoim Oyedola reporting for BTV News.